6.27 a.m. and we are out of the house. I am so impressed. <laughs> Today we are going to a homesteading convention in the Ozarks. We've never been to one of these before. We are all very excited. Is everybody excited? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So we have a two and a half hour drive ahead of us. We pretty much woke the kids up and put them in the van and we're going to eat breakfast on the go after a little bit if everybody wakes up. Can you put this stuff on the stroller? Both of the, all of that stuff. And what else do I need? Bella, do you want a hat? We need Benjamin. Hi, sweetie. You want to come with Poppy? Do you want to try to wipe that shirt? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, she really stained it up. Who's going to sit in the front seat? Okay, let me get a wipe. Hi, That's the arena. That's right. That's where you want to go, Belle. There it is, right there. And who didn't think it to be there? Mm -hmm. What were you expecting? Just some buildings. Yeah, a whole bunch of buildings. Mm -hmm. And like not like that, but like that building. And then you walk in, and that's where everything was. But I mean, I don't want to be, I'm not, I'm a realist. I would love to live in a plastic free world. And I've never really thought about it, but if you're worried about it, I'm just keeping it separate. Just better safe than sorry. You know, I don't want to have any of this for a thoughts. Do you want to pet one of the animals? Good job, Jeremy. This one's named oh, Wild Meals and Primrose. Primrose. That's a pretty name. Primrose is pretty. These Dexter cows are so soft. Are these, these are Dexters too, right? They're all Dexters. This one over here is so soft. Amazing. Well, how are these? Where have you guys been? Walking around. Walking around. Smelling all the good food. Um, I'm hungry. I have calzones in the van. Yeah. I just need somebody to walk out and get them. Uh, we have a lot of little people that are melting down. She's sitting at the talk still. Some of our little people are done. Just done. Ready for lunch. Um, James and Jeremiah are needing some distraction. So maybe you guys could help with distracting people or getting lunch. Why are you so tall? You're like seeing eye to eye. Could you grow in the last hour? We found a mister, which was really, really cool, except James found a way to turn the mister into a soaker. And he is now soaking wet. I think I brought an extra outfit for him, though, so yay for me. Once Pop gets out, he should be done soon. He should be done soon. When it burns. It's the hottest fire that I know. Yeah. So, tell me about your two sessions. Okay, I'll tell you about my session. So, the second one's the best. Yeah, the first one that I went to, it's so bright here. There, is that better? The first one I went to was bread making. Very helpful, actually. I have been doing things very different from her, but she explained it very well, and I'm excited about trying her technique. Um, 
her dough that she mixes up and lets you know sit for 14 hours is super wet sticky like mine was more like what I imagined with a regular you know old yeast dough which is the only thing I had known hers is so sticky you couldn't even form it into a loaf at that point did you steal some starter from her? <laughs> right before this before we came here I killed my starter with heat can you believe it's that? A good time to do it. I did not steal starter. She was selling starter. However, I'm gonna go beg Lauren for some of her starter because it will be free. Hmm? I didn't even look. I can get free starter from Lauren. Mm -hmm. She would have it now. Yeah. I went to uh, basically I forget what the name of it was, but it was solar power. That so, was art. Art something. Yes. Art white, I think. Yes. I'm gonna eat my calzone while you talk. Yes, he was really good and helpful for some of the things that we were looking for. Um, changes that we would make to the gym, that would be good. Um, the cost difference from going from lead acid to lithium ion, that was really exciting. So, um, some, some woes about integrating solar to the grid and then running solar without mm. batteries. So some house. good things and some bad things. Yeah, um, just, like, it just, well, I mean, if you want to have batteries, that was the woe, actually. So it's like double the cost of the solar for, yeah. So it goes from 25000 to about 50000 if you go about that way. Um, but I'd, I'd like to run a system where we can at least have power if the grid is down and we and it's sun is shining. Right. So that would be nice without batteries. So yeah. you're able to do that, but you have to have another inverter. So that was kind of cool to learn. And then the second one, you and Bella both went to, right? They're Correct. drinking some kombucha right now. Correct. Bella, you want to explain? I'm not bad. I don't remember. That was about rotational grazing. From VW Farms, which is another YouTube channel that we should start yeah, actually, watching. Oh yeah, Ben and I didn't catch her name. Mom and Dad. So yeah, she was the one talking. Yeah, she, right. But they were great. They were kind of right up our alley. They're although they're like really hard workers in the sense that I mean not that we're not, but I mean they're working really hard and I feel like they're really successful. Because they've actually, Sliding they have horrible. a, there, that's better. They have a, Sorry, a, a store where they send, sell their uh, meat, oh. like, and yet he's still working a full-time job because they were wow. concerned about, you know, this. Do they, they have, have nine 700 kids? acres? They have no, they have two kids. kids. Uh, oh, there you go. 16 and 18. Yeah. 700? So that's how I'm telling you, having toddlers and preschools, preschoolers and babies is a down. blessed thing, but it definitely, um, Reduces the amount of time we spend on homestead stuff. Yeah, well, I guess, and they have thirty thousand subscribers too. So, and they have sponsorships and right. You know, and they're they're getting like so I, I guess you know, like trying to understand, you know, what what it takes to run what they're doing right. must be really high. They're right. If he has to have a full time job, I mean, it's not my business, yeah. but he did kind of they they address it. They were you know, mm -hmm. hey, what, what does it look like? Because logistically, mm -hmm. um, I had thought about what would it be what would it be like to have a homestead mm -hmm. that that's all we did right uh yeah well, we, we'd have to have it make money of right course, 16 but acres they have what would that take something. right now we're making negative money i think we're actually <laughs> getting poorer with our homestead <laughs> that's possible Stopped at a gas station. Um, right now we were checking out. Can you hold that? Oh. Um, we. I couldn't believe how many YouTubers we ran into at this um, this um, conference. I'm tired and sweaty and hot here. Sorry, brain work. We ran into a lot of YouTubers, and um, 
one of them came, Brandy, and was the first one to introduce herself to us. And so we're watching their channel right now. They have Keeping It Dutch is the name of their channel. And I had never heard of their channel before, but they have watched us, so they came up and introduced themselves. One of our regular um, subscribers, Trisha, came to introduce herself. Um, we met some other ones. <laughs> um, we met... What's the name of the other one? Walker Family Farm? Walker Fam Farm, I think it was. She came and introduced herself. There were several that we got to meet, so it was really fun. I just fed a baby and now he's staring at me, distracting me. You're distracting me. It was a great time. We left earlier. We had planned to stay the whole day, but we were just like hot and brain overload and tired and we thought, okay, we're heading out. We were sad to miss the last, um, one of the last talks was the, um, Bella, what's their name? Living Traditions? Is yeah, Living Traditions actually, Homestead. Like, three or four of the other talkers like, mentioned their right. channel and said, go to that. Yeah, we, we had wanted to see them because that's a YouTube channel we've enjoyed, the Living Traditions people. And so we'd hoped to see for them, but we were just not going to make it. We were all done. So we're heading home and uh, it's good because now our neighbor won't have to take care of the evening chores for the animals. We'll be home for that. So that worked out pretty good. Right? Yes. Uh, pistachios. Yeah. We're hitting up the, the stash of the food that was left. Everybody went in. Our air conditioning is not fixed yet. We had to schedule the appointment for Wednesday. So they went in to cool off in the gas station here because it's a hot day to be in here without AC. Although, of course, when you're moving, the air feels nice, but yeah, it's sticky. Oh my! Are you smiling at me? Can you smile for them? Uh oh, what's wrong, buddy? Oh, does he want something? Does he want more yogurt? There's applesauce, there's yogurt, granola bars, pistachios. All right, thank you so much for spending this day with us. It was so much fun. Um, and yeah, we'll, uh, maybe I'll put some links in the description box of a couple channels that I remember of people that we saw there. So you can go down there and check out their channels too. Thank you to everyone who came up to say hi to us. That was really special. We, we enjoyed meeting you all. It was a fun day. We will see you guys very soon. We love you all. Bye-bye.